All right guys, before we finish this video, I just wanna give some of my final thoughts. So the finish I think is absolutely stunning. You know, it looks like a work of art to me in person. It is just beautiful. I know some people are not gonna like the relicking. That's fine, everyone has their own opinion. I will just say for me in person, the amount of work that must have went into this, I really appreciate that. I also like that no guitar is gonna look identical to this one and I, I don't have to worry about dinging it or scratching it. And finally, it just feels more played in, which I appreciate. Speaking of how it feels to play, the V-shaped neck is very comfortable. It's a thicker neck, but it's not as thick as, uh, it doesn't feel, I should say, as thick as it actually is because it doesn't have very big shoulders. Um, the fretboard is rolled on the edges here, not as much as, say, my Danocaster, uh, but it is rolled slightly. Uh, the fretboard, I thought would be a little sticky with the lacquer on the end of it, but uh, I've not had any issues with my fingers sticking to the fretboard. The truss rod has taken some time to settle in. It's still settling in after a few weeks. I live by the beach, so it's a very different climate than what the guitar came from. So um, it's taken a little bit of time to acclimate, but that's okay. Uh, the truss rod adjustment is down here at the neck, which is a pain. I'm not a fan of that. So I'm just kind of letting it settle in before I start adjusting it. Uh, let's talk about how it sounds. So the bridge pickup is actually really fat and kind of lots of mids and warm, not super ice picky or really bright like I thought it was gonna be. Um, I've obviously never owned a Tele before, but when I think of Tele bridge pickup, I think really bright and kind of harsh almost. That, that's not how I would describe this pickup. It's not dark, but it's not far off from being dark for a bridge single coil pickup. It's just really fat and warm. It just works really well, I think. The middle position is quintessential Tele middle position, super chimey. It's just, it's a sound I have in my head when I think of a Tele. And actually it sounds a lot like the Jazzmaster in the middle position. So I actually think it would be cool to do a comparison of all of my single coil guitars. So maybe that'll be in the future. Um, neck position, it's interesting. It sounds nothing like the uh, Jazzmaster on the neck or the Strat on the neck to me. It's got its own thing, it's really full and fat and warm and almost acoustic-like without being muddy. So it's not muddy like a neck humbucker might be, but it's not super bright or scooped like the Strat is, for example. So it's uh, its its own thing entirely. And I really like it for just kind of strumming along chords. It's lower output than the bridge, so it's a little cleaner. And it was really great playing live, doing some higher up triads without it being really harsh. So really, really like that. Uh, I will say a couple of things playing it live. So played great, stayed in tune, fantastic. One thing did happen is the B string kind of got off its little groove here uh, on the saddle and kind of made this weird buzzy noise. So when I was playing, it just kind of something happened. I picked it a certain way or whatever and it got out of its groove. So I just kind of popped it back in and it's been great ever since. I've never had the issue again. So it could have been some fluke thing, but I've never played a guitar with these bridge style saddles, so I don't know if that's common or not, but just something that happened. Uh, the guitar is super light, so it's great for playing live because you can play it for hours and hours and not notice it. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I haven't had any, really any issues with noise from the pickups. It's been pretty silent overall. And yeah, it's just a killer guitar. As you can tell, I'm obviously really enjoying it. Uh, I am so happy to finally own a Tele, and I think this is a great telly to own. All right guys, that does it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Comment below what you think of the telly. I love reading those comments and uh, subscribe for more. I've got tons more stuff coming. And I hope you guys appreciate the amount of work I put into these videos. They take a lot of time to shoot and edit and I'm always trying to push myself to try new things. So I hope you guys uh, notice that and enjoy it. It's a lot of work. It means I can't put out videos quite as fast as I would like to, but um, I think it's worth it, but let me know below what you guys think. I've got a lot of cool videos in the works currently, so stay tuned for that. And until then, I'll see you later.